वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रॉम नव ऑन लेट स्टार्ट वेक्टर कैलकुलस वेक्टर कैलकुलस आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट एवरी वन टिल नाउ आई मीन एवरी वन हु इज वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इज फेमिलियर विथ कैलकुलस ऑफ स्केलर्स आई मीन इंटीग्रेशन एंड डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ स्केलर्स लाइक एनी फंक्शंस लाइक एक्स रेस टू एन साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स लाइक दिस इफ यू आर फेमिलियर विथ दिस वी कैन स्टार्ट वेक्टर कैलकुलस इट इज नॉट एंटायरली डिफरेंट इट इज सेम एक्सेप्ट देर इज अ वेक्टर क्वान्टिटी असोसिएटेड विथ इट सो फर्स्ट विल टॉक अबाउट डिफ्रेंसिएशन डिफरेंशियल वैक्टर कैलकुलस differential vector calculus now for any vector quantity here there are three operators first one is del operator called sorry first operator is called gradient second one is divergence and third one is curve we have three major operators here in differential vector calculus first we'll speak about gradient gradient operator it is the symbol of the gradient operator is like this people also write like this and many prefer writing like this any function okay this symbol this symbol is called del operator or nebula operator let's let's write it down this symbol is called del or nebula or gradient operator now we will we will stick on to this symbol in the entire lecture series i will be using this symbol Oh, uh, the definition of this symbol is as follows is given by remember it is an operator i cap into del by del x plus j cap into del by del y plus k cap into del by del z if we operate any function on this like this let me give an example l into 5 we are operating a function we are operating this operator on this function we will get i cap into del by del x of 5 plus j cap into del by del y of phi plus k cap into del by del z of phi now let's take the example example let's let's take it in a question form if phi is equal to x y square z then find its gradient remember to find a gradient the function should be scalar function this should be always scalar now let's uh, we know that del phi is equal to i cap into i cap into by del x of phi let's take the formula first since it is the starting i am writing formula 
मूविंग ऑन आई विल डायरेक्टली राइट डायरेक्टली राइट द आंसर ओके ए कैप इन टू बाई टी सेट ऑफ फाइव सो डेल फाइव इज इक्वल टू आई कैप इन टू आई एल सिंप्लीफाई आई एल राइट ओके एक्स वाई स्क्वेर जेड प्लस जे कैप इन टू वाई इन टू एक्स वाई स्क्वेर जेड प्लस के कैप इन टू एक्स वाई स्क्वेर जेड नाउ इट इज पार्शियल इंटीग्रेशन पार्शल सॉरी पार्शियल डिफ्रेंसिएशन वी विल ट्रीट सिंस इट इज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू it is a partially differentiated with respect to x we'll take only x as a variable here and all the other terms are considered to be uh, constants so if we keep if we take these as constants we will get differentiation of x x into constant will be y square into z into 1 प्लस जे कैप इन टू सिमिलर हियर कंसिडर दिस टर्म द वाइट टर्म टू बी अ वेरिएबल एंड ऑल द अदर टर्म्स टू बी कॉन्स्टेंट्स सो इट बिकम्स एक्स जेड इन टू डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ वाई स्क्वेर विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वाई इट इज टू वाई प्लस के कैप इन टू सिमिलर I am writing it directly. X square, x y square. Okay. Now, phi is equal. Del phi is equal to y square z i cap plus two x y z j cap plus x square. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Plus x y square k cap. one thing we have to observe here is we have given with the i mean we have given the scalar we were given a scalar now we have converted converted it by converted it to a vector later on we will get to the physical meaning of this gradient what what does this physically mean i mean what does it what does it graphically mean for time being we are given a scalar we have converted it not exactly a conversion but yeah we have a converted you can say for time being converted it to a vector now let's let's uh, let's do a convenient brush up for our next problems let's let's do let's brush up our basics i mean conveniently not that uh, we are you know digging up the <laughs> digging up the entire past of vectors say uh, this is a position vector r is equal to x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap so it is convenient that we can write this as r is equal to summation of x into i cap uh, if we expand it we will get x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap remember it is convenient to write like this okay now uh, if we take only magnitude we get x squared Plus y squared plus z squared. Now, partially differentiated. Now let's take these two results. I mean two expressions, and we'll we'll get we'll arrive at a beautiful expression. There. Let's r is equal to x i cap plus y j cap. Plus z k cap, and here we'll take r. Sorry, r is equal to the magnitude 
x square plus y square plus z square now partially differentiate this with x dr by dx we get only i cap and all these are percent these and this and this will be zero this is an important expression i'll box it now partially differentiate this this with x what we get not partially different directly different oh, i mean proper differentiation dr by dx is 1 by 2 root x square plus y square plus z square and 2x dr by dx is equal to 2 to get cancel x by what what is this this is nothing but r so x by r these are very important formulae that we are going to use in our subsequent sections okay remember this remember this uh, i'll first highlight those remember this 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 is one important this is important and this is important for any vector let it be constant or any position vector we can write a is equal to e1 into i cap if we expand it it will become a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap remember this also this is also important okay now now i'll share you a trick the trick works only if the function which we have which you want to operate a del operator on it it must be a function of r so we'll write it in words trick not real trick it's a it's a convenient it's a convenient method if phi is a function of r r is a position vector remember there is there are no there are x y and z terms in that but we can express that whole vector or whole scalar in terms of r then del phi is equal to remember this formula i cap into d by dx of phi by r this is very useful formula we can tackle many number of questions trust me let's let's take an example let's let's solve few questions question phi is equal to x square plus y square plus z square into 90 find del phi if we go on doing it with the traditional method it will take forever so let's apply our convenient formula what we get first write phi is equal to what is this this is r square r square into 90 so phi becomes r raised to 180 this implies del phi by formula we have i into del by del x into 
phi of r we have del phi is equal to i in i cap remember this is i cap del by del x into what is phi of r r is to 180 del phi is equal to 180 into r is to 179 into dr by dx I am sorry this is indeed a partial derivative let's I stand correct by del x we will have here l r by del x okay now coming back to the problem it implies del phi i cap into 180 into r is to 179 del r by del x is equal to x by r what we get del phi is equal to cap into uh, 180 comes outside let's take let's uh, take everything outside except x 180 into r raised to 179 whether r comes outside yes it comes outside divided by r a cap into x right this implies del phi is equal to 180 into r raised to 178 into what is this as i have already told this is r so it implies del phi is equal to 180 into r raised to 178 into r vector in question since they have asked in terms of x y and z we can write r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square we can just just a simplification del phi is equal to 180 into r is to 178 means square plus y square plus z square 178 divided by 2 means it's uh, a uh, 16 1 I guess it's 178. What is 178 divided by 2? 1 is a 2, it's a 16. 189. 89. Okay. 89 into xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap. So, this is our answer. Uh, I'd like I'd like to do more problem problems. I'd like you to practice more pro problems. We'll continue. We'll continue this lecture series uh, in the coming days. I hope you support this video. Uh, do share, subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, genuinely comment how how it is like to listen the listen to this series. Thank you.